Hey, I'm Katie Fernbach Gerb, and this is GigaOM TV. And today on Green Overdrive, we're driving zero motorcycles, electric motorcycle. Neil, tell us a little bit about how you founded the company. Well, I founded the company in my garage. This is a real Silicon Valley garage story. Uh, I had a product development business where I'd uh, developed a lot of mountain bikes, a lot of full suspension uh, mountain bikes. I really pioneered that technology and, and I always wanted to, to build a motorcycle. I've been a motorcycle enthusiast for all my life and uh, actually I had, uh, it's interesting, I had kids about nine years ago and they couldn't ride the motorcycles because, uh, you know, it's too loud and noisy and dangerous and the pipes were hot. Yeah, and it made the babies cry and it just wasn't, wasn't, it wasn't family friendly. Yeah. So I invented these electric motorcycles in part so I could I could have my family and the motorcycles. So show us what we have here. This is our frame and we're really proud of this. This, this is our space age frame made of very very thin wall aluminum. It's about three times thicker than a coca-cola can so you can hear it. It's very very light and about half the weight of a conventional motorcycle frame which lets you have lets you have lots of performance and uh, lightweight and be ecologically conscious at the same time. This is a German made uh, permanent magnet electric vehicle motor so it's very specialized very uh, very efficient and very light for an electric motor, even though if I handed this to you, it'd probably, you know, fall on your foot. It's pretty heavy, but for an electric vehicle motor, this is actually about uh, half the weight of a conventional electric motor. Tell us about the battery. Where'd you guys get that, and what kind of technology do you use? Okay, this is our secret to our company here. This is the battery, and this is what I, I, I spent uh, probably a year developing is this special kind of um, electric vehicle battery because there just wasn't a good battery on the market that had uh, lots of power and was lightweight and lasted a long time. So, And in the battery pack here is all of our electronics. We have three microprocessors on board, one microprocessor which monitors the battery cells. We have uh, over 300 cells which all have to be monitored, monitored individually. So there's a full-time processor uh, for that, and there's a microprocessor on the main bike board uh, to control all the safety functions of the motorcycle. And then there's a third microprocessor in the motor controller. So we're going to test this bike right now. What are we going to be testing for? Well, we're going to take the bike and, and run it through the, the entire speed range with a load on the tire. So we're going to gently uh, ease the bike up to about uh, 65 miles an hour and just to see if there's any problems with the motor or battery. We're going to monitor all the electrical systems. It's just a quality control check to make sure everything's working okay. And what do you find here? Do you find um, problems with the bike or things that you need to tweak or change on it? Yeah, if there's any kind of electrical issue, uh, we run the bike up to top speed and just check the power, make sure everything's working okay, the chain isn't too noisy or uh, anything isn't making uh, strange noises. We also test ride them on the street. Show me how to ride this thing. Okay. There's no clutch on this side, uh, but you got your front brake over here, just like a traditional gas motorcycle, throttle over here. And you have a kill switch, which uh, you can stop the bike at any time from there, and a main ignition key right there. Uh, and then on your right foot is the um, brake, the rear brake, and on your left foot there's uh, there's nothing because there's no shifting. So Right. None of that awkward motorcycle upshift. Yep, it's actually very easy. So for beginners, it's actually really easy to learn on. Yeah. There's not all that shifting uh, to, to go on. And this is just standard uh, mileage speedometer? Yeah. And I can uh, turn it on here. You can see what goes on. So we, we turn the bike on, and it has a warm-up phase. So it just lets you know. It goes through the diagnostic. The speedometer goes up to maximum to let you know the range is working. You have your fuel gauge here, odometer, uh, trip odometer, and it reads in both uh, miles per hour and kilometers per hour. Why is it blinking warning at me? Uh, this is a, <laughs> it's letting you know the systems are starting up and you're ready to go. You're ready to start your, your ride. One reason that electric motorcycles are going to be the first electric vehicle people are going to own is because you don't need a special anything. You can plug them in at work, uh, on the road, they charge very, very quickly and they're very, very small amount of electricity. Mm -hmm.